Okay. Assalamu alaikum, everyone. I hope you're doing well out there. And uh, today I just wanted to go over, uh, hopefully quickly, um, a very important topic that I will probably discuss in the future, but I just wanted to uh, give an introduction. Uh, and that is the topic of uh, Islam and its perspective on disabilities, because I have disabilities. I've shared that before um, on this channel. And uh, neurological, for those that don't know, mostly neurological, uh, for those that uh, are new to this uh, channel or um, are going to watch this video and have no idea what I'm talking about. <laughs> so, so that's the context. I do have a couple of different neurological things going on. And there are a lot of times where I, uh, I'm thinking, or I, I catch myself thinking, uh, why does God, Allah, the beloved, uh, as the Sufis, uh, refer to, uh, to God, um, is uh, the beloved. Um, I've also heard the ultimate source. That's another one, uh, but uh, that's a quick uh, side tangent. But anyway, uh, why does God allow certain people to have disabilities? And um, this is something that uh, I, like I said, it's on my mind a lot. And um, uh, I decided to just ask this question, uh, and uh, I got a, a pretty good series of answers um, from Google, of all places, because um, sometimes, you know, sometimes Google is reliable, but there are a lot of times where it's not reliable, but this is actually pretty good. It, it, it um, gave sort of a, a, a compilation uh, from different sources. Um, a compilation of of perspective and perspectives and statements. So I wanted to read some and just get my and just offer my reaction to it. So, um, it says here that uh, the Islamic perspective on disability is positive and inclusive and includes the following views. Number one. Uh, disability is natural, and it says that uh, the Quran and the Hadith uh, both recognize that disabilities are a natural part of human existence. Um, so uh, that is a good explanation because you know I'm 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 I go back and forth on whether I believe God is uh, is interventionist or not, or maybe selectively interventionist, I'll, I, I, I guess. Um, so, um, that, that is a good explanation, uh, that, um, you know, God created everything we see in nature and as part of that natural process, um, disabilities, um, arise out of that. So that's a good perspective the the next uh bullet point i think is uh pretty interesting too so it says disability is a challenge from a law and it says that um uh i'm sorry uh d disability is a challenge from a law and it says um Islam views disability as a challenge set by Allah and not as a result of wrongdoing by the disabled person or their parents. Um, that is a very important thing to, uh, to realize. Um, and, uh, you know, so it's not, you know, so, I mean, I was born with my disabilities, but, um, uh, disability in general is not, um, according to this, it's uh, from the Islamic perspective, it's not, um, 
a punishment from God, as some people may think, and it's not a punishment from God on the, the, on the individual level or the, the level of the parents, you know, on the part of the parents. So, um, uh, that's very important. Um, disability is not a cause for shame. And it says that, um, the Quran emphasizes that people should not ridicule or isolate I isolate others based on their disability and uh that uh is a very interesting uh idea as well or a very good idea i mean i i um certainly agree with that um cuz i would be excluding myself if i was had an exclusionist attitude toward um, people uh, with disabilities, but I also um, have a very inclusive attitude toward other minority groups, so to speak, and people of other faiths and all that. So, um, so I think that's a lot of where that comes from is I know what it's like to be excluded. So I, I uh, don't really have a lot of people, um, types of people that I actively exclude in my daily life, you know? Um, so, uh, it says that, uh, disability could also be a source of purification. And, uh, it said the prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, uh, taught that disabilities are a means of purification and elevation from Allah. So in other words, um, disabilities are an opportunity uh, for a purification of, of, of the soul. And, uh, that's, that's a very, uh, interesting perspective. And, uh, sorry, I was just reading the, uh, the link that, it, that it, per, uh, provided, uh, on, on that specific point, it provides a link to all these, um, I'm reading a list. Um, it's uh, Google has this new AI thing, and uh, basically, it, it, it's given me a, a sort of list based on uh, an AI gathering of of articles and links related to my question uh, that I asked. Which again is, uh, what is the Islamic view uh, on disabilities? So, um, uh, it also says that. Um, Disabilities are a source of potential. And it said that the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, taught that people with disabilities uh, are not defined by their disabilities, but by their actions and contributions to society. And uh, that's something that, um, that's an interesting one, because while I agree that disabilities don't necessarily define a person or, or, or um, it, it shouldn't make you, um, it shouldn't make you treat them as, you know, less than of course, but, it, but, but I, I guess what I'm trying to say is like the true disabilities should not define a person, but they still are a very big part of the person with disabilities everyday life. Um, and, uh, to, to varying degrees, of course. Um, so when people say things like, um, oh, your disabilities don't define you or shouldn't define you or whatever. Um, I understand that that's a, a, a well-intended phrase. Um, but it can also be used sometimes to dismiss the struggles of people with disabilities. So, um, so, so we got to be careful. There's a, a balance there that we have to, uh, that we have to work around where of course we shouldn't use, um, disabilities, um, as an excuse or disabilities, uh, as, a um, a singular definition of who we are as people. But at the same time, other people have to understand that they are 
a, a pretty big part of the life of a person with disability, again, to varying degrees, but still, um, very, it, it can have a great impact and people need to understand that and be aware of that and, uh, and be more tolerant of that. And society is trending in that direction. Thank, thank God. Um, but, um, there's still a lot of progress that needs to be made. Um, and, uh, I'd like to see that happen um, sooner rather than later. So, um, anyway, let's move on, shall we? Um, Ooh, this is a, an interesting one. Uh, disability is a source of responsibility. It says, um, Muslims have a duty to be inclusive of people with disabilities and to help them live dignified lives. And that is true. If you are uh, part of the uh, Islamic community, we definitely do um, uh, need your help. Now, some people um, might not have a very favorable opinion of me because I am a Sufi and Sufis are kind of looked down upon by certain factions of, uh, of mainstream Islam, if you will. Um, but, um, in general, please treat us with, uh, with respect, especially the ones, um, with disabilities like myself. So, um, uh, please try to, uh, be aware of that and, and be tolerant of that. <laughs> anyway, um, it says, um, there's only a couple more of these. So, um, it says disability is a source of care. And, uh, it says the Quran and the Hadith provide guidance on how to care for people with disabilities, including providing education, health care, and other basic needs. Thank you. Um, because there's a lot of people, um, in America in particular, that they don't feel obligated to help provide people with basic needs. It's all about me, 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 you know, and it's like, why, why should I care about, um, other people, including disabled people? Um, they, they have this attitude of, uh, and there are some people that have, that have this attitude of, um, well, why can't like, um, Families and churches just take care of, uh, or other religious institutions, uh, take care of disabled people. And it's like, it's more than that. It, we, there has to be a systemic response to, uh, providing for people with disabilities. It, it doesn't, you know, it doesn't do any good or it does, it doesn't do as much good to, uh, to have this sort of individualistic approach to disabilities where it's just that individual and their family's problem or, 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 um, just th that, that person's, um, community's problem. You know, as I said, like religious institutions and blah, blah, blah. Um, we have a, a, a duty, especially if you're a Muslim, you have a duty, uh, in, uh, according to, the Quran and the Hadith, uh, to provide care for people with disabilities. So, um, be mindful of that. Um, because again, uh, it, it runs counter to this narrative, um, especially in the West and in America that it's all about me. You know, I don't have to care about anybody else. I don't have to provide for anybody else. You know, all I care about is myself. Um, uh, so this is obviously uh, saying the complete opposite of that, which is, no, you have a responsibility to, uh, to of course, meet your own needs, but also take care of people who are having, through no fault of their own, having an extra level of trouble um, meeting their basic needs. So um, this last one here says that disability is a source of rights. And it says people with disabilities have the, have the same rights as others, including the right to be integrated in society and to be treated with respect. So kind of a repetition of uh, a couple of the other points here. 
um, uh, and uh, it also clarifies uh, a, a decent uh, a decent job of clarifying. It, it does a decent job of of clarifying one of the other points because it said um, disability is a source of purification uh, and basically it's um th th there's a, a a link that further elaborates that um that people are given disabilities uh or, or it should be an understanding that uh that the disabled their disabilities are not a punishment but it is a means for their sins to be forgiven. So um, basically what it's saying is since people like me have disabilities, um, we uh, are also kind of at an advantage in a way um, in terms of, of our sins that I guess it's saying that, um, that our sins, that it's, that having disabilities is a way for our sins to uh, maybe be forgiven a little easier, I guess. I don't know. I mean, I still, I'm not advocating that you should, you know, start sinning if you're a disabled person, if you just commit all these sins and whatever. Uh, but um, I'm just saying that that's my interpretation of what, um, of what that is saying. So, uh, yeah, this is really, uh, an interesting, uh, topic and one that is very relevant to me. And, uh, it's definitely something that I want to, um, explore in the future. Uh, I think those are pretty good expl uh, explanations if i could talk um so uh yeah that pretty much wraps it up for this video but i just uh wanted to share that with you guys and uh i hope that everybody who watches this video uh bless you all and uh i'll see you next time